Hello everyone. Hello everybody. We're just gonna do a quick review on Mario Kart 8 of what we've uh, done so far. As you can see, you've got single player, multiplayer, you've got online, single player, and multiplayer, you've got the Mario Kart TV channel as well. Um, for the online, you can actually make your own tournaments as well, which is really, really cool. Um, we might show that after after this bit. But you've got uh, in the in the single player and the, and the uh, online play, this is where you you uh, select your character and your uh, carts. Like you can customize all the different parts of the cart, which are really cool. You can unlock other parts of the cart when you get uh, every fifty coins, which you which you collect during the races. You can collect uh, ten per race. They also give you a uh, speed boost as well. Which character are you going to be in this one then, Hayley? Baby Daisy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing we noticed was with the um, with the the larger characters like Bowser and Donkey Kong, if you go for a cart that's got really good acceleration, that that kind of makes up for the uh, for for being a bit heavier. If you're a lighter character like the baby characters, it's better to go with speed. Right, I'm just going to show one of the races off. Okay. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to show you some of the power-ups. The power-ups have changed as well. There's, there's, a, there's a few new power-ups. And they also work in a slightly different way, like the bullet. Um, in the old Mario Kart games, they were the, the bullet would make you go from sort of last place depending on how far back you were you could go up like four or five places maybe even more than that uh, now the bullets a little bit slower uh, but you can also get it not just when you're last place because before you seem to always get it when you're when you're probably last or maybe second from last now you now you can get it a bit higher up the field I got it a couple of times yesterday when uh, when it's in about fifth or six. So this this is one of the new power ups of the boomerang. Hey, come. They can't hear you. With the uh, with the boomerang, I don't know if you could see it there. You throw it, and it goes right out, and then comes back to you. Yeah, you can do it a few more times. No, I think it's three, three times I think you can do it. But at least if you miss the person while you're throwing it, and on its way back, you can still either get that same person, or you might get, um, you might get someone else who's coming, who's coming past you, just as you've thrown it. See, so in the in the bottom corner, you can see a coin total. The uh, the coin total when you get to ten it gives you a slight speed boost, but also these coins are the coins that you you use to collect for the the unlock parts for your for your cart. So the most you can get in a race is ten. So once you've done, if you get ten in every every race for five races, you'd unlock another part to your cart, and it's a random. One one thing, other thing that we noticed as well is when we was going online, we were, we couldn't get any higher than about sixth or seventh, and um, looked online yesterday, and it says about un unlocking all of the different cart parts before going online, because you'll you'll find that there's uh, there's some better parts that you unlock, which make you go faster, better handling, and everything. So definitely. Um, do 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 as much of the single player as you can before you start going into the uh, multiplayer. To know the maps really well. And this this is another new new thing here. You can do a um, you can look at your highlights afterwards. You can do thirty seconds, all the way up to like the full race, and then you can also concentrate on certain people in the race. Yeah. And then once you're finished, you can upload it to YouTube. YouTube, yeah. So if you've got a YouTube account, 
once you've done this highlight video, you can put it straight onto YouTube. Upload highlight reel. And then if you press that, you can put it on the highlight reel. You can put it onto YouTube. It also posts it to the Meverse as well, and you can add a post to it. You can all, you can also get stamps in this game, like the uh, Super Mario 3D World. There's 90 yeah, no, to no. unlock. You start off with 28, and then you unlock them randomly for doing different achievements and stuff. Uh, there's also quite a few characters to unlock. Uh, I think you get them for winning certain cups in certain CCs, so like 50cc, 100cc, 150cc. So, we, we haven't done every single track yet, but we've, we've probably done about half of the tracks. And even the old tracks are really interesting, because I've changed it enough to make it look better. Like, some of, some of the old races were frustrating with the, the way the track went, sort of round corners. Now it's kind of a bit wider in certain places, more, more sort of um, shortcuts that you can use. So yeah, there's our quick review anyway. Thanks for watching.